Hey there, and welcome back to New City. I'm Zombie Greedo, and in this video I'll be picking up where I left off in the last video. Uh, I'd started it, well, almost where I left off. <clears throat> so I'd started a bit of a tutorial on uh, how to get started in New City, and I built, uh, built a little test area and got it up to about a thousand population. Well, somehow between uh, then and now, I I'd uh, tried to record another video but ran into some microphone issues, so I was trying to start over, and somehow I had saved over uh, exactly where I left off uh, with, uh, I don't know if it auto-saved over it or what, but <clears throat> uh, I built a few more roads uh, from where I left off in the last city, but did nothing super significant that I can't explain pretty quickly, so... Uh, I'll try to do another 20 to 30 minute video and, and we'll see how, how much higher of a population we can get. So uh, I believe where I left off last time I had this area built in and just some, uh, some agricultural areas here and here uh, along these straight roads. Well, I went ahead and built uh, 5 by 25 grid roads. Uh, and filled them in with agricultural here. Uh, I haven't filled anything in on the other side, though I do want to fill in with agricultural here. And I built some industrial areas here. So this is our first <clears throat> industrial zone. Um, and I don't believe that I put any more residential in. Uh, we've jumped up in population just due to uh, what was already built there. So I'm paused right now. Let's go and unpause and we'll let our our uh, simulation keep going here. So uh, oh and I've also built a school. Uh, so I did go ahead and put down a school. Now the reason I did that you can there's a couple different strategies I've tried so uh, you can put a school early on which is basically what I've done here. It's pretty early at, at you know, between one and 2,000 population. A school theoretically gives you a thousand high school diplomas. And so that will educate your population up to uh, a thousand people with uh, high school diplomas. So now what you see here is when I built that school, the percent with no education has started coming down. And we're getting more, uh, let's see if we can find that here. Um, number of workers with high school diploma has gone quite a bit up. Uh, the reason you want to consider that is because all of your uh, industrial jobs, let's see if we can look at an example here. Uh, one of our industrial buildings here, this is home to general furniture and general furniture has the majority of the positions that this company has uh, 50 of looks like 65 total 50 of them require high school diploma um, so what I want to do now that we've got how are we doing on jobs quite a few open jobs requiring no education have open jobs requiring high school diploma 37 uh, unemployed 25 so what we want to keep going here is open jobs at both these education levels I'm not too worried about a bachelor degree yet until we start getting office space available uh, and unemployed so we want both of those things we want open jobs we want unemployed that way uh, they will um, the unemployed will go take those open jobs and that's what we have right now so we've got a good situation going right now now something uh, I don't know if I want to intentionally cause this again but as I was trying to record another video um, what I'm not happy with is this setup right here so as we try to get this bigger this is become this set of intersections here is going to become a nightmare for traffic. The only way I've found to really have a sustainable traffic setup is to have these 
uh, one-way diamonds. So you'll have a one-way going here, 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 and here. Uh, and that will allow your traffic to flow through without having to stop at stop signs or a stoplight. Um, when I built that, I had to demolish my retail uh, businesses. And I had not built any alternate retail areas that had uh, started to populate yet. And so that ended up in like a five year slump where nothing was really developing. Um, I had a bunch of unemployed and no new businesses were coming in. So I don't know what exactly triggered that, but the, the solution was um, the population kept slowly crawling up and eventually I got to the point where I could build, um, it let me build a library, I think and a couple more schools and something about doing that just kind of kicked things back into gear. I didn't do anything very uh, intentional to fix that um, other than, you know, put the simulation on ludicrous speed for a little while and then go have a snack and come back and check on it and eventually it got out of its economic funk and, and uh, we were good to go. So uh, that was in... Uh, an alternate parallel universe uh, that is not this one uh, so we'll see if we can avoid that or recreate it somehow I'm not sure but uh, what I want to do right now is build more residential zones and I want to do that in some way that's going to be sustainable going forward so I don't just want to keep building more of these now I've already built some roads here uh, that I'm not super happy with I haven't done much with them but I'll kind of use them as the base for uh, what I'm going to try to make uh, into a, a blueprintable pattern going out this direction and this direction. Now the reason I don't just want to repeat more of this is what you have, uh, if you think about the daily traffic commute, you've got businesses here so people will go to work and then when they come home from work they everybody has to go through this intersection or the equivalent over on the other side uh, and then they come through this and then say they live over here they have to go through this intersection this intersection and now this one that I built uh, to get here and if you imagine where you build I don't know 20 of these going out you've got 20 stop signs to go through to get uh, to where you want to go and as it gets more dense down here, that will result in huge traffic jams going back, you know, all the way out here. So we don't want that. Um, so I'm gonna try to come up with some sort of uh, residential traffic pattern that, uh, that doesn't do that. Now I'm already kind of locked in. I like to do things in, uh, uh, grids of five here just so it it looks nice and it uh, lines up with these the big uh, grid lines here so let's start building um, what will become our pattern so I'm actually gonna demolish those and these and I wasn't paying attention to my budget last time, but I'll try to keep an eye on when I'm going to take us negative here because I think these roads will end up uh, costing us more than 6.6 .6 million at some point. So we've got uh, so we'll come out here. Let's go ahead and take this road all the way down to the water, almost. Uh, and then over here, same thing, all the way over to, maybe right about there. And now, so those will be some main thoroughfares that will take people all the way out here so I won't have any uh, intersections on those maybe I could do just an intersection every every five grid squares um, 
Let's think about that now. Yeah. It's from here. Here. It's hard to describe and build at the same time, but you'll get an idea of what I'm trying to do. Oh, I think I have a 3D printer issue happening. One moment. Okay. So here's what I'm going for. This will be like your your neighborhoods, and then you'll have your main roads that uh, you turn off the main road to get into your neighborhood. Uh, and now I want to blueprint these. Yes. And then let me use on the other side too. Oh yeah, if I build this, it's gonna take me negative. Okay, so this is gonna cost me $3 million. I'm not gonna do it right now, but if I were to build that, what'll happen is it will dip into my line of credit. Um, I have credit available. Right now it's set to one year, uh, one year of credit at 4%. Um, let's just turn that off for now. Almost out of money. So this is telling me I'm running a lot of money, which uh, is true. But I think I can get by for a little bit with what we've got. So right now there's a way to get into that neighborhood, but not this other one. And there's no way to get into here. So let's just connect there. Now we've got routes into each of these. So now let's give our people some way to get there. Okay with uh, this road being zoned as well. That's fine. Okay, so that is quite a bit of residential. That is well more than double what we had before. Now this road isn't doing us any good right now. So, there's not really anywhere for it to go. So we'll just go ahead and tie it in. I'm, I'm a little gun shy now about demolishing zones that have populated this early on, just because I don't feel like I have enough economic momentum in the simulation to demolish something and not have it have a, a, a big impact. When I demolished those uh, retail zones before, it took a long time to get those to come back in. I think I was getting close to 7,000 population uh, before those came back in. And unemployment was like 13% or something. It was just a, a bad situation. So, okay, so we've got lots of residential places for people to go. Um, Let's look how we're doing. Population is uh, flying up. That's good. Still plenty of open jobs. So I'm not terribly worried about creating more. Uh, this is our industrial section is uh, 
coming in nicely. Still plenty of open agricultural spots to, to fill in, so not, uh, not real worried about anything yet, except maybe my budget. Let's look at our budget. Income, I am making uh, about 300000 a year, and my school is costing me 445000 So that's uh, obviously not good to be spending more than I'm making. My property tax is only 1%. That's very low. Typically, I end up uh, somewhere around 6% and then bumping it up or down as I can uh, once the city gets much bigger. So... Uh, one percent's the default. That's what we start out uh, at. That's what the population saw when we first built the town. So now I've given them a school. I've given them some nice neighborhoods. I think I can uh, justify in the city council meeting asking for a little bit more property tax budget. So let's bump that up to three. So now we're making twice what we're spending. It's a better situation to be in, um, but not super great. So maybe we'll go four. We're doing this arbitrarily. I, I don't know that your property tax value has a big significant impact on people moving in. Um, let's see if maybe it uh, slows down our growth here. We've we've hit 2,000. That's good. We're double what we were when I ended the last video. Um, I don't have a lot of money to build anything right now, but I do have the option to open a, another line of credit. Um, so I've, I've got uh, I've got a couple options here. I can go into debt and just keep building, building, building. But uh, obviously what I've built already has not filled in a lot. So what I'm gonna do instead is turn the simulation speed up and let this town grow on its own for a little bit and just see, see how it shakes out after, oh, I don't know, a year or so of simulation. So here we go, we're on ridiculous speed. Now you can kind of see why <clears throat> in the first video I had the snow uh, turned off and it's set to always day. It does get hard to see the grid lines here. So I can barely, can barely see that at all. If I wanted to do some serious uh, road layouts, it'd be a little challenging right now. I think it gets even worse in the winter and spring. Things are filling out nicely. Uh, I can't really tell that my uh, property tax increase affected anything. So we'll just uh, we'll just keep it rolling. See how things uh, how things keep going. Starting to get a little bit of income. It's telling me there's some demand now for agricultural. Let's see.
Uh, oh, I see what's going on. I got these are the same graph. Uh, I got open jobs. And I want unemployed with no education. There we go. Yeah, our open jobs are starting to go down. So have we filled in. No, there's still plenty of space. Come on, guys. Oh, I did not zone that side. Interesting. Let's do that. better. Yeah, we still got a ton of residential space. And we have filled in most of our industrial. And I haven't zoned any industrial over here. It doesn't cost me to zone anything. Uh, it doesn't cost any... Well, and now the demand went away. I'm going to do that anyway, so I might as well just go ahead and knock it out. What's going on here? I can't zone that road for some reason. There we go. Weird. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, not that side. Okay, good. Choosies in. Okay. That should be good. Now, uh, <clears throat> I still have a bunch of open jobs requiring high school diploma. And not too terribly many unemployed. Percent with no education is leveled off. So if I want to get that to keep going down, I will need to build more schools. Let's go ahead and do industrial here. Bank won't loan us more. We are overdrawn. What? I don't think so. I did ask about these messages on Reddit, and I guess there's some... I guess this is triggered by something relating to your finances, and this is not the most accurate wording for what that is. So it says we're overdrawn. I'm not overdrawn. I have a positive balance. 
Uh, so I'm not going to worry about that. And additionally, I'm making quite a bit more per year than I'm spending. So let's uh, let's pin some of these up here so they're easier to see. So I want to know what is my balance. And I want to know what my total earnings are. So your earnings here, this is your income minus your mandatory expenses. Uh, I don't think it takes into account discretionary expenses. I don't have any this year because we just crossed into 1953 and I haven't built anything yet. <coughs> So how are we looking? We're at 3,000 population now, that's good. Ooh, I've got some spots in here that uh, I could do with filling in. Didn't mean to do that. Did anybody move in yet? No. Okay. There we go. No harm, no foul. So, how are we doing? We've got lots of room to grow. I don't see that I really need to do anything right now. If you've been looking at the demand graphs over here, they've been kind of all over the place. <clears throat> but I haven't been paying super close attention to them. I've mostly been, you know, looking at the numbers here and trying to decide what I want to do. Now if you look at, let's see if we can zoom in here one year. The open jobs requiring a high school diploma, what's kind of cool is every time a new industrial business opens up, it, it opens up a bunch of open jobs. And so each one of these spikes up, that is a new business coming in and then people are getting hired and a business opens, people get hired, demand goes up, another business opens and we repeat. Uh, and then I think Open jobs requiring no education. It doesn't seem quite as clear, but you can see uh, similar spikes happening over here. So our, our town seems pretty happy. I've got a million dollars in the bank. Businesses are opening and we've got plenty of room to grow. So I'd like to avoid going into debt if I can. I probably can't for the entire life of the city, but for now I can. Um, I'm not in like any sort of race to get to a certain population by a certain year, so I'm perfectly happy to just let the simulation do its thing and uh, put it on ridiculous or even uh, ludicrous speed and let time go by and people move in and just see where where that takes us. So our population is it's continuing to climb at a pretty steady rate so just for the last couple minutes um, I'll just I'll Put us up to ludicrous speed and see about where that ends us. I'll, I'll let this take us to a good stopping point um, to save this and then come back and pick it back up in the next video.
Maybe if we can get to 5,000 in a reasonable amount of time, that'd be a good stopping point. Ooh, we're starting to level off. What's going on? Sort of. A percent with no education is going up. Which makes sense because I don't know if there's like a set percentage of people that move in or as to what their education is, but it seems to be the vast majority, maybe 90% of people that move in have no education. And so we have to build things within our city to give them an education. And I've only got one school that only gives us a thousand high school diplomas. So the best I could really do would be 75% or so. There's probably some random probability in uh, uh, new people to move in as to whether or not they have a high school education, no education, or a uh, bachelor's degree. Oh yeah, farms are coming in. Still quite a bit of space. Definitely still a lot of residential space. Traffic is not bad yet, but you can already tell these are our high traffic thoroughfares here. So, uh, and you can see most of the cars are having to go through a bunch of intersections here. Uh, these people in these neighborhoods here are living on borrowed time. I will be relocating them at some point in the near future. Back to ludicrous speed. All right, there's 5,000. Back to normal speed. We've hit our 5,000 population milestone. I don't, I don't actually get to build anything new at 5,000. I think the next milestone is when I get a big uh, supermarket or a mall or whatever it is that's uh, the big retail space opens up then I get to build uh, some cool new things that should happen soon but probably not right away so I think that's a good stopping point we got from um, 1400 to 5000 in this video and uh, as I mentioned in a alternate universe uh, video that did not survive the uh, <laughs> the uh, sanity checking that my microphone didn't mess up and I found out that it did. Uh, I had redone the traffic here and it demolished these retail spots and uh, really put the economy into a bad spot. And it took, I, it was like 1960 before I had things back on the right path. Um, I don't know if it would have been cool to watch that uh, for people to see kind of how I got out of it. There wasn't anything you know, like the super smart secrets that uh, uh, gems of wisdom or anything I can share related to that. I just put it on ridiculous speed and uh, sat back and watched it kind of try to figure itself out. And eventually it did. 
So uh, if you find yourself in a tough spot where it seems like growth has stalled, maybe just make sure you've got some room to grow. Uh, put it on ridiculous speed. Ludicrous speed can cause some problems of its own because I think it starts uh, interpolating within the simulation and you definitely end up with traffic jams at ludicrous speed uh, that work themselves out very quickly at ridiculous speed. So uh, yeah, maybe just if, if you end up stuck and stuff isn't growing, maybe just put it on, put it on ridiculous speed and go away for a while and come back and see where you're at. But I'll end this video here uh, and I will save it and uh, try to pick this back up and maybe in the next video we can get up to 10,000. Uh, there should be some cool new amenities coming as we grow uh, here uh, coming pretty soon I think and stuff that we can build uh, to help our, our city grow. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, uh, give me a like. I, I appreciate it. Uh, I think it's super cool if uh, people are watching me fiddle with this game. And uh, drop a comment if there's anything else you'd like to see, any questions or anything. And uh, with that, I'm Zombie Greedo, and don't forget the Han shot first. <laughs>